Hello. Anthony Corona. How are we, boys? And myself, Luke Romeo. Yeah. So, guys, how are you all been? How are you all been? Uh, not too bad. I've been uh, pretty good. I've been pretty good, too. Uh, let's get straight into it. Uh, let's talk about the weekend and how we think it went, to be honest. So, so the opening round, which was round one, we only had, what, what was it, four entries, was it? Myself, Oi. myself, Luke, uh, Max, and a newcomer JB. Tell you what, even though those four drivers made a pretty good show, JB made a very decent, decent debut, taking out his first JB season. JB set a lot of. Uh, JB put a lot of uh, like. He set a lot. Of, I don't even know how to say it. He just changed uh, the landscape. A lot of history was made on that night. A lot of history was made on that night. The yeah. first, the first world champ because he's number one. He's American. Mm-hmm. So like. The first world champion to lead the points, and uh, the first Blake to win in over about six or seven months, which is crazy. Yeah. Uh, it, was, it was wild, wild. And then night two, which was, of course, round two of Series 7, we saw, I think, nine, nine... That's, that's what I was born to talk about. Let's start off with... Uh, we'll start off with... Who should we start off with, boys? <laughs> Why can we start off with uh, Alex Mastro? Oh, he pulled the he, he pulled out halfway through as he finally kind of raced there. So I, I have nothing much to say about him, but he did enter a different car, which we had not think before. Or did he race the Vamos? No, he raced the Vamos. He did race the Vamos, but everyone said okay. that he was racing the um, was it the Tulip? I think it was something else. Yeah. Or the Tulip. I don't know. It was. Yeah. It was a Tulip. Um, I reckon. We can talk about uh, Will McNamara. I tell you what, he did very. He impressed me with that Impala. I tell you what. Impala, he did pretty decent. In. He didn't get through many rounds though. It, but it's like a new learning curve for him to get Ben to work out with. So. But with the first night with that car, I say he did a pretty decent job. He's yeah, I got, yeah. Still a bit more improvement so to it. We're not testing very much in that car and just. Pulling it out like that, I reckon he's, he did a pretty good job. Yeah, he sure did. I feel like he did all right. What about Matt Perry? Matt Perry was all over the joint the other night. He was going back and forth from first round to the finals. He, was, he wasn't really consistent. He was like pretty... He was just going... Every, just crazy. He was going crazy. Still yeah, trying um, to figure out the car, even what car to run each night. Yeah, just yeah. just alone place. Very inconsistent. Joe Bain's a late entry. He did come in pretty late. He Put it on a pretty good performance. Uh, nothing too impressive. He did stuff up a couple of times. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jake McNamara. Oh, Jake, yeah. I mean, Jake was kind of just in his normal spot for that night. He didn't really go too fast. So, I mean, uh, he, he, he did have to pull out early, unfortunately, uh, as for timing. So, it wasn't good to see. But at the end of the day, that's what you're going to do. That's what you're going to do. Uh, he did only go a couple of rounds that night, I think, I think, so... What about you, Anthony? You, you were... Anthony, yeah, mate. You were caught in that spot for the night. You did, you did okay. okay. You did Yeah, I was hoping I would have went a bit better, but I haven't been on for a very long time, and so I just come back and tried it, tried it out, and I went a new paint job. Yes. If, uh, everyone saw. Very nice paint yeah. job. And I'll tell you what, if you did pretty well as well, you took out the former points leader, JB. He was, was leading the points. Very competitive driver. You took him out in the first round at LSE, so that was very impressive. And he, he got your form back after the, the last series, so you, you're doing pretty well. You are really doing well, Anthony. Could be a championship like, contender in the future. You are contending for the championship at the moment, so... Well, that's what I like to hear, boys. How uh, about you, Daniel? How did me- you go... Um, on last weekend. Uh, yeah, we, I, yeah, what was that? I feel like you're pretty consistent. Mm-hmm. I feel like 
Um, so was Luke. Luke. He was so was Luke Duck the winner. Finals. He was around there. Yeah. Me, I was. I, I was Let's look at you, Mr. Romeo. Won his 19th season, uh, was it last night? Yeah, or yeah. Not before. Yeah, last night. Oh, no. It was night before. Made very consistent finals. And next weekend, he's going for the big 2 0, mate. The big 2 0 next big weekend. Uh, it, it will be a massive achievement to hit 20 champions. It's, it's, it's a big milestone. So of course, if you do win that, Luke, that is history in the books. As we know, yeah, if, you, if you do win the big 2 0, but there are other drivers that can stop you. So, good day. Anything can happen. It's true, and it has happened to me before where you boys have caught up to me pretty quick if it's into race nights. So it's quite, it's good that I've stopped. I'm picking up the pace again. You think? How are you going to go next this weekend? Go right? oh, I'm going to try my best. I'll try and win a couple of finals. It'll be some nice, very nice tight racing if everyone enters. Um, hopefully I can enter. I might not. I think I'm. I don't think I'm busy at all. So I think I'll be able to be racing and um, put on a good show for everyone. Yeah. Uh, same question to you, Daniel. How do you feel like you're going to go this weekend? Uh, I reckon we'll do pretty well. We might do minor changes to the car just to play around a little bit to make it go a bit quicker. But like I said, um, I'm out, I'm feeling pretty confident going into the next weekend. Well, I mean, I asked myself the question so. Um, look, I feel like I, I, I'm going for 20 this weekend, so I'm going to come in strong, but I'm not sure how I will do now, as I can't really come on until, I can't really go testing until about Saturday, like, late Saturday afternoon, like, before racing, as I will be busy through the week through school assignments and stuff, so, mm. it's, um, it, yeah, but it, it's all good, it's all good. But I should be good to go, and this new setup of my car, is, it's going great, and, uh, from what I, I showed, I, I showed a, like some strong pace like for, for the weekend from last weekend. Yes, so. you did. I mean, when you when I saw you do this new tune, it was very dominant. That tune. I mean, what you made like four finals was it last weekend? I made four, I made four finals. Four finals. That's pretty impressive. Luke, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you think you can make five finals and take them all out? It's never been done before. Believe it's it or not. It's you know what? It's, it's even better to it's, it's, it's even better to say that you've got t- like twenty ch- uh, twenty titles. I mean, mm. it's good to say that, but with all five rounds is a massive achievement because you've versed some of the best drivers out there, and to do that, it's it's, it's kind of crazy. So I feel like I can do it as long as I keep as long as I get used to this new tune and this new tune is working, and I just got to get it completely figured out, and I can do it. I feel like. Mm, it's very, very good. Well, from the past, Luke, I've been watching, and uh, your car is pretty consistent to win um, 19 um, seri- uh, seasons. Sorry. So you are on your game pretty well. Yeah, I, I definitely. Yeah, the car has been... Uh, there, one time back in like around season four is when I had a massive haul. I just couldn't go around until I finally got it figured out again and started rolling. So it's been going pretty good ever since then. So yeah, I feel like it'll be going all right. So well, uh, hopefully Max Perry can work out what's happening with that car and get the tune down pat and how to run that car because he's not going too bad. But I don't think he's happy with what he's doing at the moment. He has been fucking around with some of his uh, tunes and so then buying had, new cars then. And just mucking around with the tunes, basically, and changing cars. So, still trying to find the right tune and the right car to do to get the job done. I mean, yeah. like, Alex is doing the same thing every weekend. Oh, I don't see him making any changes to but I feel like, from what I can see, if Alex does make a change, I feel like he can get the job done. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Like, he's got the right car, he's got the right tune, but like, he's not going to change. Personally, Alex can make a change. He'll win this round. Yeah, well, Alex is a very tough competitor. I, I I speak to Alex nearly every day, and he is he hangs for every single weekend. But he just lets himself down when 
like he can't get the car running right, or the car doesn't want to go the way he wants it to go. And he hasn't really he's been just bef- not having much luck. Haven't really been performing like he used to back in the day when he started racing. He was wouldn't say dominating, but he would go to a few finals. He was consistent, very, very consistent. consistent. Now he's just lost the consistency, and yeah. I think it's because he's been having a couple of weekends off, and he's got a lot going on at the moment. Since these Vamosters came in, he did introduce the Vamos to uh, the whole racing team for us. So that car, when he entered that night, he was very strong with it. And uh, kind of from there, he can't... He, I feel like he's just gone downhill, but now he's onto like a hole. Like he just... He can't go anywhere else but from where he is. He does win rounds. Yes, he's a very tough competitor, the first when he's on his A, when, he, when he's on his A game. But uh, I feel like... Yeah, as I said, time to make a change, he'll, he'll go faster. And honestly, he can ask questions to anybody about help. So it helps us always out there um, for, for our community, for drug challenge. So, um, yeah. So, Luke, how do you feel going into um, the next next weekend? Uh, how, do I feel, how do I feel going into next weekend? Look, I'm nervous, that's, that's for sure, because... This, this weekend, I'm trying, to hit the, I'm trying to hit the 20 mark, and I know everyone's out there to try and stop me, so uh, it's going to be a tough one, but I don't give up. So uh, even if I'm going on, on my worst, I'm always still there at the end of the day. So let's just hope that I can, you know, I guess that's as simple I can say. Yeah, sounds good. How about you, Daniel? What do you feel um, is going to happen this weekend with you? Um, honestly... Don't know because uh, we'll be making some changes to the car, just just minor changes, but not but not too much. But once I do that, I'll be probably a bit nervous as well going into it. But uh, yeah, it should be a lot of fun as well. Um. Yeah. Uh. I mean, one of the biggest changes I made was uh to was wheels uh, taking the wheelie bars off the car, which was it has made a difference in performance of of the line. Uh, which has been very good. Um, and the new tune-up on the car, it's just perfect. Uh, it's what I want. And it's a bit of a... It, it's not It's not as straight and simple as... Um, the. It, it's not straight and simple about... You know what I mean? It's, a, it, it's not as easy as doing the simple tune-up. You just have to accept it. Uh, this one, you got to kind of play around with the car for Yeah, see what the go is. Tires, tires, engine. Exactly. Everything counts in these cars. Are you going to make some changes about uh, about on your car, or are you just going to go for it? Uh, Well, my car's been very consistent. I'm very happy with the way it's running. I just got to be consistent as a driver. Um, I feel that this weekend coming will be a very good weekend if everyone enters, as I said before, um, because everyone is competitive in this racing environment. Um. And I can't wait to get out there. Hopefully, I'll take just, out this round. Just one more question for you, Anthony, before we um, before we stop. Um, is there anyone you're looking out for? Anyone that's um, competition for you? Uh, well, that's... Luke Romeo, as I've said before many times, he is a very competitive racer, and I love racing against him because he has that competitive spirit that everyone likes and he knows when he loses he's happy to say he lost that's what i like about uh the races that we have um also will mcnamara i like to race against him he's a good racer as well my oh, favorite yeah. Perry. Very, my uh, favorite Perry. <laughs> yeah when he was in that vamos yeah we always get each other i don't know why but that's how it works out because as i said He's a very competitive racer, and I like the way of his racing. If he loses, he's very happy to say, I've lost, and so am I. And what so I love, I what, what I love about Will is he, he doesn't really care if he loses. He rapidly gets his 10 points, and that's it. Before, before we get off, boys, there's one more thing I want to say. Uh, so, Max, I forgot about... But there's one thing we did forget about. Max still hasn't really... He, he has repeated it in the past, but he's still looking for his first full championship win. He has won, but as everyone had to pull out, everyone had some car problems, and some cars just weren't running properly, so they ended up pulling out. He's, he has said, oh, I want a championship. Do you think, guys think he could do that? Hmm. 
once he gets his, uh, I, once he gets I feel his, like the way he's going at the moment, that's a no because he, 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 as we said, he's still trying to find the perfect tune on his car, and mm. I understand that. But whenever he does find it, is when he's going to win. Hey, look, I got one piece of advice for everyone that's out there that wants to try and get a consistent car. You just got to stick with it, even if it doesn't work the first time or the second time. If you can go back and have a look how many times it ta- it's taken me to just get one win. It's taken me a Let's long time, Anthony, and uh, it's finally six paying off that I've been consistent <laughs> and stayed with it and stuck by it. Uh, I mean, yeah. working on this, you've got four now, and not even, pretty much nearly over a month ago, you only had one, so, and it took you a very long time to get your second, so whatever you're doing now, it's definitely working. Alrighty, uh, looks like we have to cut it from there. Anthony, thank you for joining to be our special guest today. Thank That's you guys right, so much for watching. Make sure you check out GDA Drag Shows on Twitch, YouTube and Instagram. It'll be live on Twitch, 7.30pm Australian Eastern Standard Time, and we will see you all then. Oh, never let it go. Oh, never let it go.